Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Doing my quick entry into your fellow reefer uh, sump contest that he's holding. So let's go beneath and check it out. Alright guys, here behind door number one out of four, this is where I have my auto top off and dosing pump with dosing containers. Here in the middle is where I have everything. As you can see there, I don't run filter socks anymore. I switched it over to filter floss. Easier. I use that pink filter there. Ten bucks, maybe a month or more. Throw it away. Don't have to deal with filter socks. Here on my last door, my fourth door is where I have what I think is unique. I have my little cabinet where all my wiring goes behind. I have the door open there. So you don't see any messy wires anywhere. Um, obviously, the most com everything's common here. I uh, used red uh, PVC piping. I uh, give it a unique color. Um, there's my um, pH probe as well as temperature gauge. As you can see, everything is nicely um, ran. Uh, I have Chato in there, but I gave it such a good cleaning yesterday. You can't really even tell or see it. I yanked a lot of it out. Only left like a softball size in there. My Skims 203, that's a beast, it's been doing great. As you can see all my wiring is nicely, nicely uh, tightened up, screws and um, also with tie wraps. And yeah guys, I like everything to be nice and clean. So, um, you know, it is what it is. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this little quick tour of uh, the engine room per se. So guys, show fellow reefer a uh, support and go check them out. I'll leave a link below. Thank you guys.